special special uh, cases i would like to discuss now in case of higher prescriptions when we have it is better we give of course any kind of prescription which we are uh, kind of dispenser dispensing to children pediatric dispensing glass is absolutely no um of course polycarbonate and trivex have their own advantages but in case when uh, the prescriptions are are on bit higher a uh, higher side it is okay if you uh, give a high index maybe a you know 1.6 or a 1.67 that is also fine because uh, still uh, they will they will serve the purpose uh, now uh, aphakia the pediatric aphakix so lenticular lenses definitely they have the they have the best advantages we should look for smaller eye size uh, round shape that is best adjustable nose pads if you are giving uh, metal frames and of course shorter vertex distance uh, that is what we will look for now the aim of lens selection should be yes of course lenticular lenses are the best so it should be less in weight less in thickness uh, it should have better field of view uh, minimum lens aberration protection from uv and glare so all these things are what we would look for when we select the lenses now bifocals of course d is the most preferable no kt progressive lenses of course yes free form lens design and with smaller pantoscopic tilt uh, can which which can be incorporated with this smallest pantoscopic tilt which can be incorporated should be given uh now this is uh, the the earlier one was with refractive error now the challenge is when we have some kind of facial de deformity or abnormality in kids uh, and they they there are always some kind of syndromes which will come with uh, visual visual challenges visual problems now that is where we need to take extra care uh and we need to you know improvise our skills where where in we can help those children ptosis is one so what you can do is you can use frame lid with crutches i have i have given pictures so that you can relate with what exactly they look like so they will help uh, the you know eye lid to get uh, in a proper position where in the kid can see normally in cruzon syndrome the the eye seem to pop out now in this case using face form lenses and so so these are anti um, the in cruzon system the eye bulges out now here if we use um, reduced vertex distance then that will cause uh, you know irritation to the uh, lids it might uh, you know uh, touch it, it might come very close to the eye of the uh, kid so here again we have to kind of do proper measurements and see that which frame and in this this the, in this case i would say um, no uh, shelf frame given a metal frame with nose pads which can be adjusted will be best uh teacher collins here we have mal developed uh, ear or even absence of ears now in this kind of a case we uh, we always can suggest frames which have headband now we have to make the parents understand you know that okay this is the uh, alteration i'm doing with the frame and this is the best we can do and the kid can use it again down syndrome they have flatter and broad nose bridge so of course yes metal frames are better choice so that it is easy to adjust so these are few uh, abnormalities which i have picked up there are many more and of course we can always be innovative and you know try to help the uh, kid